hey you you should subscribe dollar 99 a month you get access to the after hour show and so much more let's get this party started This is the Block Party, a Minecraft podcast, episode 107. We're your host, Bearded Sloth. And Little C. This show is going to be super difficult. That's because today we're covering Minecraft Hardcore Mode. The past week in Minecraft, your listener questions, and of course, Holy Bookworms Joke of the Week. Visit theblockpartymc.com for the Block Party fun. Check out our free Bedrock add-on packs. Join our amazing Discord community. Find our YouTube channel and get the latest episodes all on our website. We want to be supported by you, the listeners. We are hoping to go completely ad-free next month and hope that you'll consider helping us out by becoming a subscriber. With that, you'll get exclusive access to the After Hours Show, as well as all of our past episodes, including like the first 50 episodes. We really, truly, completely appreciate you supporting us. Hey, Little C, how you doing today? Hello. Minecraft Hardcore Mode. Best mode. Yeah, you're really excited to talk about this topic. Yeah. Most of the time, you're not super excited about the topics I come up with. That's because most of the time, the topics you come up with, they're like redstone related or technical stuff, like add-on packs. There you go. So we're talking about Minecraft Hardcore Mode today. We got some listener comments here. The first one comes from IRL Nick. Minecraft Hardcore Mode has to be my favorite way to play single player. The problem is, I'm really bad at it. It's interesting because you can't play the game normally, and it moves slower because you have to make everything safer and less risky. I have yet to beat the game in Hardcore, and it is usually something stupid like messing up a boat clutch in the nether. I really want to get better and beat the game from a new Hardcore world soon. I don't see, I don't play hardcore mode definitely than I play survival, but I think that's because I play survival how I play hardcore mode. Well, that's what I was going to say. That's basically how I play survival. Season two of, or season three of Jericho SMP, I only had one death. Because I just take the whole season. Too many deaths. Can't have any death. I know. I take the game slow, just, I just build a lot and I don't really grind gear as much, but I've kind of regretted that in a past hardcore world which i'll talk about with uh my thoughts on the topic but yeah i think in hardcore it is hard balancing because i never like to speed run the game or anything i want to take it slow because i want the world to last for years and years but the problem is in hardcore mode you kind of need to speed run getting that full diamond armor and tools right you kind of have to speed run because you can get one shot by a creeper in iron armor easily and that could just end your world as I found. Um, yeah, so I think it does change how you play if you play a bit quicker in regular survival. But also, if you play slow, you're kind of going to be focused on gear more than building for a while. Yeah, I treat every world as I don't want to die in the world. I have never intentionally like jumped off a cliff or something like that in Minecraft to teleport fast. I know we have some players that do it all the time, and it's just second nature to them. I, I think, I don't know, I with the new YouTube climate of Minecraft too, if it's not hardcore mode, if it's just a survival let's play, literally no one cares unless it's an SMP anymore. So it's either SMP content or hardcore mode. Yeah, that and makes kinda, sense too. And that's why hardcore is so popular is because it's, it's YouTube things with the 100 days and stuff like that. I just don't get why you need a mode to play that way. Why, why does the mode dictate that you're going to play that way? Why don't you just play that way without the hardcore mode? Just in case an accident happens, you're not losing the whole world. I guess that's the point, though. Yeah, I guess that happens and you lose the whole world. But but even that you can. I mean, you're free to delete your own world, I suppose. It's just it's hardcore mode. So it just adds to the challenge. All right. Thank you for that comment. Next comment comes from Big Blue Dong. And they actually had two comments, but I'll read the first one. I so wish Ben Rock did have a hard mode. After playing hard mode for years, I just don't feel a challenge anymore. I'm not a fancy builder, so adventure is my thing. I think it would draw me back into playing more often. Yeah, Bedrock needs hardcore mode. Yeah, and, and that kind of goes also, back with Bedrock, what I said. Just play it the way Bedrock you want. Bedrock cannot have hardcore mode. There are too many random death glitches in Bedrock. 
Yeah, the comparative form have to come drama. back like recently. Comparative to drama at recently, this point the those. Nether travel mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. I've seen a lot of deaths. Imagine on that. you're just you're on the first ten days. Also, I think the days are a big thing with hardcore mode. You survived a hundred days, a thousand days, ten thousand days. That's the big thing, you know. Especially as a content creator, you're kind of like, hey, look, I survived this. Give me views. But Bedrock doesn't have a day counter or the F three menu for any of that. And I think that's kind of that would be cool if they. Added hardcore mode, I think they should add a way to see how many days you've survived in the world as well. Without texture packs or anything like that. Right. Yeah, no, I get it. And I think they're probably going to bring it. I I, don't know. I think that would be in the plan. They're trying to bring a lot of parody. You're playing Bedrock Edition, and then you're just, you know, playing in your new Bedrock hardcore. Yay. And then you just instantly die because you look at the ground wrong. Right. Or, like, the buildup of damage going up the water, the bubble columns and stuff that was happening for a while, or, you know... you. Although, I have to say, Java Edition, it's not a bug, it's a feature. But Elytras are deadly. And same with the Tridents with, is it Riptide that makes you fly through the air? Yeah. Riptide, if you you can get high speeds, instantly die. And you can do that, too, with an Elytra. You can... People pop totems all the time just landing with an Elytra. On Bedrock, we we just land and we don't really take damage even if we run straight into the ground almost. Comparative to, you look at the ground wrong while you're landing. Bam, popped a totem. Right. Totemless hardcore mode. That's the way to go. And now we have a comment in our live chat from Annie Mae. Losing a hardcore world to suffocating in a block, LMAO. And it's not even sand, gravel, or concrete. It's just stone. Right. Yeah. Just suffocating in a block. Yeah. I've definitely had those moments where I thought I was going to die. I think I only really had that. Actually, was it this season? I was in that minecart and you watched me die. Yes. On it. And yeah. I could have so saved you, but I didn't because it was funny. Yeah. And that was one of my deaths this season. So mm-hmm. does that really count? I have. Yes. Oh, man. Every death counts. And I have like 20 on Jericho because I just die for funnies. Or because I'm really bad at flying on Jericho because chunks don't load as quickly as I'm used to on single player worlds, either platform. Right. So I'm flying. I ran into the build that I created in Shopping District and died 15 times almost. So I keep, I keep running into your power lines. That's what ends up happening to me because they're really small. What are they made out of? Is it chains? chains. Yeah. Made out of and chains. I yeah. keep missing them and I run I, right into them. I have done that, but they look so cool. They and do the, look and awesome. low enough that it's not. Now, the dropper, I, I forget who's building that. That thing has also called me a, caused me a few flying deaths. Yeah, there's definitely. No, I haven't had that issue too much lately. Like, I was follow, uh, flying around this week a little bit in Jericho and it was coming up no problem. Yeah, it's, it's gotten better, I think. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's get to Big Blue Dog's second comment here. Oh, heck, so I watched a stream today, and dude is vanilla bedrock and is playing pacifist, kinda. So, no punching trees? Rotten flesh and creeper mining to start out? Wow, it's a challenge, and he's doing pretty good. That is definitely... There are... Obviously, that's a hardcore mode, but imagine doing hardcore mode with another challenge. That's the popular thing to do now. No totems... Or there's a guy on Twitch who was doing half a heart. He had half a heart the whole world. Okay. He beat the game, did all kinds of stuff. He always had totems. He had like four totems in his hotbar. Oh, yeah. But still, half a heart See, is I, crazy. If I'm going to go all in with a mode like this, I think I want to get rid of totems and natural regeneration. You have to eat a golden apple or something to heal your energy or potion or something, right? Mm, maybe, and I think that could be fun. Maybe. I think that would just get more annoying than it would be a challenge. Yeah, maybe. Kind of like and phantoms. That's what's cool is you can make your own challenges. Whether you have the mode in your your game or not, like if you don't have hardcore, you can play it just like that if you really want. Some of that comes with your personal integrity and how honest you are with yourself. There and holding yourself accountable. That's crazy. No punching trees yeah. and creeper mining is amazing. All, I there was a meme of getting Monster Hunter the achievement by killing the Ender Dragon. Okay. Now yeah. that's a challenge. Don't kill any other mob. 
and beat the game. Okay. You can't hmm. kill a single mob besides animals and stuff, but yeah, that, that would count as really hunter. hard to do. Or you've seen the ones that are vegetarian or yes. whatever, you know, and I, I find that silly. I, I'm kind of opposite in real life. I eat more meat than anything. I think it is fun to change up your food source, especially if yes. you're in a long term world. I started eating cookies. They're a horrible food source. Horrible food source. But it also creates a new challenge. But they're fun to make. And they're fun to make. And, I mean, let's just be honest here. They're cookies. Maybe that's why I'm so bad at flying. I've been eating too many cookies. Yeah, you're getting a little uh, heavy <laughs> it there. Takes, Your it, cargo's getting a little too heavy. Takes a few more rockets. To... Yeah, that's it. And there are a lot of food sources in Minecraft. Pumpkin pies. Go yeah, eat some pumpkin pies. Exactly. It's Cake. Be- Everybody loves Here's a piece a of cake. Here's a challenge for you. It's becoming that fall season. I think in November, all through November, only eat pumpkin pies in Minecraft. There There's you a challenge go. for y'all. Okay, maybe. So we've talked Get about making villagers. a coffee yes. add-on. I'll do that, but we've got to have pumpkin spice. Got to get pumpkin spice. Got to get. Got to do pumpkin spice, get right? Your pumpkin What's spice your opinion lattes? on that? We're going to be all controversial now. I've never actually really had like a pumpkin spice latte. That's something I need to do because I hear they're good. I I personally like pumpkin spice stuff. Anyways, thank you for all the comments this week. We really appreciate the listener interactions. Let's get into our thoughts. Let's see. You kind of already covered it. It's not on Bedrock, which is kind of bleh. And I just don't like playing normal survival anymore. Unless it's an SMP. That's different. Because on SMPs, you kill someone or you die for a funny moment on stream. But it's just not is much of a challenge with regular survival and hardcore mode is not that hard because it's just hard minecraft with one life now granted i have lost many hardcore worlds i've lost let's see i think Hmm. of any significant hardcore worlds i've made not ones that i just had for a day i've had about four significant hardcore worlds through my minecraft journey and i think one of them i died to an iron wait no five Two of them I died to Iron Golems. This was years ago on my laptop because, I don't know, Punch and Villager in an Iron Golem. I am terrified of Iron Golems to this day in hardcore mode because they can instantly kill you walking through a village. Right. You might look at a villager wrong and they're like, hey, you're suspicious. Now, they recently changed that a little bit. I know they did on Bedrock. Did they do it on Java 2 where you don't instantly get attacked if you just hit a villager like once? Oh, I think you still do. I think they will book it over to you and then okay. big arms. And mm. then I think one I lost to a Vex oh. in a raid. Yeah. Vexes are, raids are terrifying. Yeah, they're I really think hard. If you want totems in hardcore before you have totems, I think going to a Woodland Mansion is going to be easier than going to a raid. Wow. That's saying a lot. I think personally think because you still get the vexes and stuff but you don't have all the other pillagers and stuff chasing you it's so weird because i haven't played having to go get my own totems in so long because we've been playing jericho and we always have shopping district well somebody always makes a raid farm yeah and so i just buy my totem that is something i'm used to because i've played so much jericho and when just like okay look unlimited totems we have t- yeah chestfuls exactly. and chestfuls. now that i'm playing hardcore oh, mode a lot, yeah it's been it a long time since I fought a raid. Now, are or you doing? Totems. Are you going to do farms like that and stuff and try to create them? Like for a my farm? hardcore world for a stream, for, I don't know yet. I really want this world to be very. I'm gonna have like a hall of fame. A lot of hardcore streamers do where if you get so many channel points or check ins or something, you can get something in the world with like customizable for more things you get. So I want to do that in my hardcore world later on once I get geared up and everything. Right now, I just have a sign board. But that's a fun way to make it interactive. But I think I will do a few farms, but try to limit it. I'm going to not go overkill with it because that takes away the fun for me. Yeah, and it's interesting how you change the dynamic of your gameplay based somewhat on streaming. Yeah. Right? Your content and you're doing hardcore mode. Which you enjoy anyway. You'd be playing that anyways. But you're actually playing that now more for your enjoyment and people happen to be watching it. Yeah. Right? And you still think of the audience a little bit, I'm sure, when you come up with ideas or, hey, let's build this. Mm -hmm. Some of that is for stream, right? Yeah. But now I think about if I did it myself, if I played 
a Let's Play or something and streamed it. it nobody wants to watch me dig out a whole chunk with a stone pickaxe all the way down. And then there's me who digs out a stone pickaxe or digs out a trunk with a stone pickaxe and people watch it. Because you can do that stuff. You just have to know how to make it entertaining for the audience. Very interactive stuff, I think, helps. Yeah, it, it's I, fun to need, watch people. I think so. that's what we need. We need You need to get on that Twitch stream and get yourself a hardcore series. Yeah, maybe. I, I thought about doing that. Hey, there's a controller. But I have to add, there's a really good controller mod. Yeah. I'll I get you set up. Might have to do something like that. I probably would just play Bedrock. I feel that Ew. the Bedrock com community should definitely get some love with content creators and things. So I'm just saying. I, I think Bedrock is the future, by the way. I do think that's where Microsoft is going to take the game. Microsoft is, but the community is not. Yeah, but we'll see where the support continues as the I future think both holds. versions will stay. Now, as far as my overall thoughts here with hardcore mode, I think it's a great ability. I don't quite get why they don't give you the option on Bedrock. Why not it's just turn it on and it's just toggle it? One thing you don't have, have to use to it. If you have these problems we talked about getting stuck in a block or whatever, don't play it. All right? the hardcore mode does is change the heart texture and give you one life. Right. And we have spectator mode now on Bedrock, so what's stopping them? Right. And I think they probably will. I think it's probably... In their future plans, I would not put it past them at all. Now, that kind of brings us to our next segment. The past week in Minecraft, all info from Minecraft.net. Shocking. Who would have thought we'd get it from the Minecraft website for info about Minecraft? All right, let's see what they're up to. Minecraft Java Snapshot 23 W35A came out Wednesday, August 30th, 2023. Have some changes here. Now, I have no idea what this is. I tried to look at the actual change logs and it didn't explain it. So if you know, you know, I suppose that LWJGL library has been upgraded to version 3.3.2. Any idea at all? Little see what that's talking about. Um, It's books that start with the letters LWJGL. Yeah, I have no idea. Totally. Move on. The default Java version shipped with the game has been upgraded to Microsoft Open JDK 17.0.8. That's good. So if you're ever doing Java stuff and you want, let's say you want to give it more priority in Task Manager just to make it run better or something, you're having an issue. It will not be under Minecraft. It will be under Open JDK something. Okay, Java. interesting. So very so you nice. Know, anyone to know. who's trying to get into modding or anything like that or needs to change some settings for Java. Important stuff. That's why you listen. So you get these kind of details. They have some fixes here. Now, this is what was wrong, and they fixed it. So don't say this is how it's going to be. This is how it was. Dragon Piglin Head does not move when placing on a jukebox that is playing a record. That was so sad that it wasn't working right. Wait, I didn't know that was a feature. What? The Piglin Head moves? I knew that the Dragon and Piglin Head moves. I didn't know when it was placed on a jukebox when you played it yeah i did not know that okay yep yep that was something they added not too long ago i think the absorption effect is lost when reloading the world sniffers frogs goats and camels prioritize pathfinding to their lover when fed over panicking when being attacked being damaged not attacked and of course there's many more we'll have the link in our description for the podcast Nothing too big. It seems like the snapshots are getting smaller and smaller, so that usually means an actual update coming soon. Next is Minecraft Bedrock Beta slash Preview 1.20.30.25. This came out Thursday, August 31st, 2023. They do have a note here. Thank you to everyone that has sent in their suggestions and feedback regarding the experimental trade change. We are trying out these changes to rebalance the villager trade system and make it more fair and fun for everyone. I'm excited for the new trades. However, these changes are not final. Oh. And they will stay as experimental features while we continue to work on them. We still need your feedback to help us improve and decide, so please continue to let us know what you think of the new trades, what you like and dislike, and what suggestions you have. At, of course, the link, and that'll all be in the change logs. Yeah, so they want 
feedback. They are listening. I know this is completely controversial. People are on all sides of this. But I love it. Just like everything. I do, too. I like it a lot. I hope they keep it I'm actually excited for this. I'm not making any villager trading hall or anything in my hardcore world yet. Because I'm waiting for this to change. So it's going to be harder to get all the villagers. And because I live on an island in my hardcore world. And I want to build an island for each type of villagers. And have each villager has their own little town island. Oh, I like that. Based on that theme. That'd and be I'm pretty excited. cool. All right. And there were a couple fixes in this. Fixed an issue where the boat wouldn't spawn on the water if the block underneath the water was highlighted. Oh, that would be annoying. Yeah. Fixed a bug that prevented summon NPC commands from working if the users did not have world builder permissions where the base version of the world was before 1.19.8. I'm surprised. No fixes to the marketplace this week. Crazy. Yeah, that, and that's all there was. Uh, they are definitely getting small, I'm going to say, in the next week, maybe two. I think we'll see some stable releases again for some of these things we've been talking about in the betas and previews and snapshots, of course. Now, let's move on to what we've been up to in the past week, because we've been up to a few things. I think we're probably been as busy as Mojang has this week. Honestly, I think we're more busy than Mojang has been. It seems like that. So I did play Minecraft. In Jericho SMP this week. About time. I know, right? Holy Bookworms event ended on Thursday. So I, in my procrastinating way, I waited till the last week. I think it was Tuesday or so is when I jumped in and finished that. So I got my, what was it? Tiny house yeah. build. Yeah. And thank you, Little C, for giving me some of those materials I needed. You're the welcome. Funny, the funny thing about it is, I found the materials you left me. Yes. And then I found my stash of those same materials. So I didn't nice. need yours, but it's okay. Uh, we This past weekend, I think, we had a friend that started a Discord server. Mm -hmm. And it's just for server owners and admins, basically, to kind of help each other out. Maybe you have questions on running the server, things like that. So that was fun helping them out. Getting that started, we, somehow we became admins on there. I warned him that I already am trying to run some of these other things, so I won't have a lot of time, but it's been fun interacting with that community. I'm just a Discord nerd that everyone's like, hey, how do I send a message on a Discord channel? And I'm like... Yeah, you're the Discord guy. So first ask. you gotta hit enter, and then you're done. And I love the name. I, yes. Did we come up with this name? And he I think took it? we all kind of yeah, were working. It was, it was but like it's a, a great community. name. It, it's called Admin Abuse. Yeah. That's great, a great name, name for that. And it's been good meeting some of the other server owners out there. There's a discussion right now. How do you keep activity up? <laughs> I wish in we their knew. servers. Well, and it's funny because everybody is suffering the exact same problems. Everyone's it's getting back to life. Summer and fall and People are having activity lives goes and, down. Yeah. It's just part of it. And you have to be okay with that. Another reason winter is the best month. No one wants to go outside. It's disgusting out there. So everyone stays in and plays Minecraft. Now, it is cool to see some of these crazy creators of add-ons and stuff over there. There's, There's one guy crazy that's on Bedrock. It's absolutely astonishing what he can get accomplished it's amazing there. what people can do with bedrock and bedrock has a lot of mods in that way i just wish they had more i i will always say this almost every show it ends up me saying i wish there were more client side mods for bedrock that's really what would make the game a lot better and i think a lot of java players would be okay with playing it yeah maybe going back we actually got some live chat things going on here talking about activity and servers and stuff so Annie Mae says, I think a lot of small servers got boosted a lot during the pandemic is what we'll say. And I agree with that. That's kind of when we started Jericho season two is right at the heart of the pandemic stuff going on. And so we had lots of people yeah, playing at that tons. point. People were out of work, all kinds of stuff going on. So it, it was crazy. Definitely agree with that. But our activity has. So we're at a kind of low number. I actually get to see when people are on and stuff, but I'm okay with that number. I'm okay with where we're at. We started out, what, four times bigger than what we are now? It would just be nice, I think, if more people were doing more community stuff, like more shops and stuff like that. 
Yeah, and it, it kind of, once you build shops, it's like, it's done early in the season. I don't think so, though. I think no. shops should be something that's always expanding. I think we should be having, there should be so many shops that there's drama about so many shops. That's how many shops we need. I like that. Just fill it up. There People you go. are like, hey, where should my shop go? There's no space. So if you're a part of Jericho SMP, go build a shop. I don't and care if, if you you're s- not a part of Jericho SMP, apply. And then build a shop. And then build a shop. There I don't you care go. if you sell air. Just build it to build it. Just having buildings is fun. I don't care if they're empty. I agree with that. Just build. Don't feel that you have to actually have a purpose for it. Just build a shop. Look right? at all this stuff I build. Exactly. Half the buildings I build are Just empty. Just have fun with it. And I think some of that is probably my lack of communication with the intention of that is the shop doesn't actually have to be functional. It's nice when it is, but just have fun. Oh, just build by shop. the way, my mega building shopping district is almost done. I've been, I've been working maybe it's one awesome, day though. a month on it at this point, right? But it's almost done. I just need to finish the back wall and then nice. fill in the roof. Nice. No interior. It's just a big empty it's building. Definitely a big build in the shopping. I don't think or, it's the it's not, main thing, though. It's not a mega build. No. But it's a big build for shopping district. All right. And thinking about what else I did this week, get into the real life stuff. Um, I did, of course, do some trucking. But honestly, I don't think I was really that productive. I It was it's harder to find loads. There are far and few between lately. So I truly think I may have played more American truck simulator than I trucked in real life, which is not my choice. I don't know if that's sad or impressive. Yeah. I just had lots of extra time. I had to wait basically a whole day for one of my loads. So I had a lot of time to play. And of course I did that both Minecraft and truck sim, by the way, talking about truck sim, if you want me to hear, if you want to hear a lot more about that last week, we actually, recorded the after hours show and we made it free for everybody that particular episode. So make sure you check that out. It's really awesome. And you get a taste of what we do on the after hours show. I think you just need your own spinoff show. Bearded Sloth goes trucking and you complain about how trucking simulator is not realistic with a tiny detail because a tree is not where it is in real life. And there's a fence moved three feet over in game. So I actually really have debated on starting either on Twitch or YouTube or something, live streaming, playing Truck Sam, but talking about real trucking for the week while I play Truck Sam. Yes, do it. You know, something like that. Honestly, start Twitch streaming so then I can raid you and stuff. And because there's a lot of stuff with that. Part of the part of the problem is between podcasts and our life, and my life is limited on the weekends of what I can get accomplished. Stream during the week. Honestly, right. if you get a kind of cheap gamer I headset mean, or something yeah. with a decent enough mic, it doesn't matter. One of the biggest streamers of all time, XQC, had some crappy quality for streams. And like, I've thought about that too. I don't know though. Setting up. Because you don't have the quality of reading chat and doing something. It might be hard. Yeah, I I don't know what I want to do with that. But make sure you check out our After Hours show available right here on this podcast. Oh, man. And it was a free one. I think it was like episode 17 for the After Hours show. We don't know how to count episodes for that. I know. We usually have no idea which one we're on, but I did count them up and it was number 17. And if you enjoy that, please, please, please consider subscribing. I... I know it sounds like I'm begging or whatever. He is. We're going (laughs) ad-free next month, or that's the plan. So we're not going to have any support financially at all from ads or anything. We really will be relying on you, the listeners. So it's $1.99 a month. Let me know if that's too expensive. Maybe I'll drop it to $0.99, but we don't make much if I do that. I think $1.99 is probably worth it. Maybe we need to bring some TBP merch back. I know a place we can get it from that's pretty good. Yeah, we might be able to look into that. We really need your support. You can donate directly. We try to do it through subscription. So at least you're getting something out of it, right? And not just giving us goofy stuff. Yeah, exactly. But anyways, we'll move on from that. Let's see what you've been up to this week. Lots of hardcore. I got full diamond armor enchanted a lot of stuff and pretty good tools and stuff on my new stream hardcore world and this one i think is going a lot better than the last one 
the one before it, my stream hardcore world before it that I died in, I think I was building so much and focusing on that that the second I went into a cave, I just was not prepared and I just died. But now I have the diamond armor. I have stuff and I've been playing it a bit more, still building a ton, but gearing up a lot and focusing on that a bit more. How I many think. days did your last one make it? Oh, it, under 50. It was under 50. Minecraft days. And where are you at on this one now? I think I'm at se 75 plus. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So you made it further already. But you have. You've focused more on functionality. Yeah, it sucks. I just want to build more. <laughs> right. But I'm to the point now that I don't have to do any more functionality. I right. have the diamond. I have blast protection pants. That was my biggest priority is getting blast protection because I died to a creeper. So I'm just hoping that I'm good to go. And now I've been doing a ton of building. And let's be honest. Once you get geared up, Minecraft is not that hard. It's pretty easy to keep going. Yeah, it's going to be some stupid mistake at some point, though. Look at almost Filza. always. Look at Filza. His the reason he's famous and where he is today. His five year old hardcore world dies to a spider. That's the death message. Because he was building, he fell into a little thing underneath that wasn't lit up, a cave or something, while he was building. Right. There was like loses heart. Two skeletons. There was. A creeper, I think. Uh, but the big thing, you know, the baby zombie that now the jokes when anyone's ever playing with him on an SMP, someone will see a baby zombie and be like, Filza, watch out. And it's always a stupid mistake. There's a streamer who died to vexes from a raid farm. There's a lot of void deaths in hardcore in the end, because that's one way that you just a totem won't save you. Right. If you fall, you forget to put your thing on. Your fireworks are in your inventory. I really think if you're going to go hardcore mode like that, just don't use totems. Mm, I just don't I use totems. I disagree with this because I'm more of a builder focus. I want to just be able to build, but still have the hardcore. Because even with totems, there's still so a plenty hardcore of ways to hardcore mode die. goes before totems, right? Like hardcore mode came out on Java before totems came out? Mm, I think so. So, I mean, you can go old school. I I think, I think it'd be fun to watch. It definitely add to the risk. I think going totemless or totemless is fine, but I think the way to do it is totems without a raid farm because everyone has a shocker box full of totems in their inventory at all times at this point. So what you got to do is go don't fight raids for them. That's too easy. I don't like that. You totems were hard to get, and I think that was fine when totems were hard to get. When you had to go to the Woodland Mansion to get right. the totems. Yes. Totems weren't overpowered. If someone had a totem, you're like, dude, that guy's rich. So really, raid farms are the problem. Not raid farms. Raids. raids. The, you, well, Getting raids totems, are kind of hard, though. They At least are. they make yeah, a good I challenge. So I, I think that's balanced. But if you're playing you Minecraft Hardcore, farm. don't have a raid farm. Right. Unless you're, you know, I think once you're past 10,000 days of Hardcore... Any farm goes. All right. Anything else you've been up to? I, that pretty much sums I, it up. I played trucking sim with you. You did. And I may have gone a little too fast around an off ramp or on ramp. You, you and got a I little tipsy. Over. I tipped over and flew like 50 feet on my side and just slid. It was epic to watch. It, it is fun. I can't believe how, I mean, it takes... A lot more on trucking sim to actually turn your truck over than in real life. And I you think, know this how? <laughs> <laughs> I almost tipped the truck one time years and years and years ago. It was close. I was going around a roundabout. Oh, man. I almost lost it because the load shift on, shifted yep. on me in mm -hmm. the trailer. Yeah. And so it was all lopsided on one side. In trucking simulator, I take roundabouts like a Texas roundabout. There's a roundabout there. Nope. Drive right through Just the middle. Drive straight through. I like it. Hey, we got a comment here on the live show. Welcome in. Big Blue Dog says, my first time listening live. Well, thank you for being here. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It is fun. You get to hear all our mistakes before I edit them out. The bloopers. That's right. Also says, I wonder if you guys have lunch before or after the recording. Depends on when we're recording, but today we had it before. We did have it before today. Sometimes we actually do the live Friday nights, sometimes very early Saturday. Sometimes it's Saturday afternoon. Yeah. 
It's hard it's, to say now. It's crazy. Well, we, used to have it, we used to have it at a scheduled time, but it interfered with a lot of our yes. in real life stuff. I like it now. We surprise so, the listeners. Yes. And we get different live audiences this way. Yep. So if you're not yet, make sure you become uh, or get on our Discord. You got to do that. And then you can figure out when our live shows are going to be. Like today, I didn't announce it beforehand at all. We just popped it up and go on. Mm-hmm. Now it's time for do 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 listener questions. Our first question comes from Chef Sunshine. Do you guys do Bedrock how-to videos? If not, do you have somebody that you watch? Also, your name. I struggle to say that every time. It's a tongue twister for me. So make sure you keep the questions coming in. Oh, man. Yeah, because I keep struggling with them. And it's funny. I have done a few very basic tutorials. But I don't think we have that many on TBP YouTube channel, do we, Little C? No. We I have I, one or two. I do like making videos on simple things, like simple redstone contraptions, like my auto sheep shearer. That's one of my favorites to do. Or an auto sorter. I like <gasps> showing people how to do that. You have an auto sheep shearer and an auto sorter system. There you go. Sounds good. We could have a whole series, the ASS series. Oh, boy. Makes sense. Okay, that might be a little PG-13 there. I don't know. Oh, but, boy. Uh, we're just talking about auto sheep shearer and Gosh. auto sorter system. What did you think it was, listener? Exactly. Yeah, so I there's a few out there. I might actually have one or two on my personal YouTube channel. Now that I get into all kinds of other stuff, not necessarily Minecraft, so... You'd have to sort through all that. I think we have one or two, and I've made one. Well, I've made two versions of one from my personal channel, only because the one got 30,000 views and the other one got 30,000 as well. So, and they just constantly bring in views. And that's a custom totem texture pack for Bedrock Edition. And that's on my little C channel. But I don't really watch that many Bedrock Edition creators because I don't do many back end things. And if I want to watch it, most of the streamers and creators I watch are on Java just because that's to me that's where all the so, good creators in my opinion are back in the day I used to watch now this was even before Bedrock this was like Xbox mm-hmm. and that was Skippy Six Gaming I used oh, to watch wow. him a lot long time ago and then IBX I watch but IBX he doesn't do tutorials too no. much IBX is good though if you want a Bedrock IBX is good yeah I totally agree and then of course you got Foxy no tail yeah, uh, that's I don't probably... really watch much Foxy. He's good with the tutorials he's, he yeah. does make. He he's explains and then it got and Silent stuff. Silent Whisper too for tutorials for technical stuff. Yeah, I think Silence definitely okay. He gets some of the technical side wrong. I think uh, a lot of the farms I seem to find on him, I usually find a mistake in that doesn't work. But overall, most of his stuff works. What's the other guy? He's Kind of got a voice like mine, kind of monotone. And I used to really like his JC Plays. Is that? That's one of the big Bedrock tutorial people. I think that might be it. And for farms. I think a lot of all. those farm ones are good. JC so, Plays is great because he makes super simple, straight to the point farms. Yes, exactly. All right. Our next question actually also came from Chef Sunshine. Hey, guys, we need your questions. So make sure you get them in. We, we don't mind answering a couple questions from the same person, by the way. So add your questions in on our Discord, of course. Do you have a YouTube playlist on your SMP? I'm trying to find more Bedrock content creators. Not for Jericho. I used to make videos for Jericho, but just kind of stopped. I don't know. Stopped kind of playing it. Just when a lot of people stop playing it, you know, it gets stale. I might make a few Java edition videos with friends for more like funny style, the Tommy in it kind of style SMP video stuff but most of the time I I haven't really I don't think we have a series for Jericho besides earlier on yeah we encourage players to make videos on Jericho SMP and some did a few videos and one player actually live streamed on Jericho quite a bit I think that was on season two I remember watching that there was actually a couple of them that live streamed it I really enjoyed it it just seems like there's not a lot of activity like that lately. I personally am not going to be entertaining if I play on Jericho and live stream. It just, you 
probably would not be that excited. I you just did, have to learn it. You have to learn it. I did it one time, yes. and all I did, I was draining a ocean monument. Yeah. That's and a very common fine. live streamer project. Yeah, you was, just got to learn to be a better streamer, BS. You but can do it. To me, I, I don't you know. You can do it, BS. I, I bet I could. So I don't know. I would love for more players to make content on Jericho SMP. So if you are a part of that and you're in that world, please do. Feel free to do that. We'd love it. At one point, we actually had a separate YouTube channel just for Jericho SMP. But apparently that never really took off. So, I don't know. Now it's time for everyone's favorite part of the show. Holy bookworms, joke of the week. What is the best time on a clock? 6.30, hands down. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. You know, you I got to be able to read a clock, I don't though. think a lot of my generation will get that joke. Everybody uses digital clocks Ooh, nowadays. That is true. But that's Come funny. on, they that's should be. Funny. That's yeah, pretty good. So, it, so go look it funny. up. I guess six thirty hands yeah, down. Yeah, go look it up on your uh, Chat GPT that's, or whatever the cool kids are doing nowadays. That's pretty fun. All right, been a great show. Really appreciate you all. Appreciate you, live listeners. This must have been hard to listen to. It was hard. It, it was difficult. I almost died. We made it through. <laughs> All right, help us get the word out about the Block Party Podcast by sharing our awesome Discord community, checking out our YouTube channel, downloading our free Bedrock add-on packs, and unlocking that exclusive content as a subscriber at theblockpartymc.com. We want to hear from you. We love your comments and questions. You can email us at contact at theblockpartymc.com or leave us a voicemail or text us at 1-260-222-7240. Thank you for being here. We truly appreciate it. Make sure to tell everyone about the Block Party of Minecraft podcast. I'm Bearded Sloth, and now I gotta eat my coffee. And I'm Little C, and I'm gonna go not die in Minecraft.